Hi guys. Well, today's report started off as a simple little review on the pros and cons of rotor guards on your DJI Phantom. But as we began to test, we discovered one thing that we really didn't expect for these guards. To help us with the demonstrations later on in this segment, we have employed the services of our latest staff member, our new resident supermodel and bikini crash test volunteer, Katie. Yes, I know we could have used an old scarecrow, but hey, we know our demographics and thought this was a far better option for all. Okay, so on with the story. Some advertisers would suggest that the rotor guards are only for newbies or training, but I'm not really sure why they would suggest this. In my mind, the pros look like this. A, they look pretty cool as it makes your Phantom look twice the size and a bit more high tech. B, you get to enjoy increased visibility, which is always a major help when your Phantom is getting to the end of your sight range. C, it makes an easy to grab carry handle when handling the unit and protects it in the car while being transported as well. D, it's great for those famous Phantom landing leanovers that seem to happen all too often with a bit of wind or too much forward speed. But of course, most notably, the Phantom will sustain much less damage to itself and things around it if and when it decides to climb a tree or a building inadvertently. And make no mistake, and it doesn't really matter how long you've been flying, it's going to happen. Then there's the human factor. Every country has different rules in regard to flying near or around humans. But needless to say, if you're flying around people, the guards do offer protection from the external perimeter of the spinning rotors. However, and here's the big however, Humans are not a flat surface like a shed or a tree, and whilst the rotor guards are a great protection for the blades themselves, the gap between the guards is almost a perfect fit around one's body parts, and I mean perfect. So if your Phantom should fly into position, it will lock onto a body part like a feral dog gone mad, or a crazy grinder tied to your whatever. It just won't let go. or it'll run in and take a bite like a rabid fox terrier and scurry off. It's cruel and it's dangerous. Sorry about that Katie, pretty rough first day. So don't just view the joining string they supply as unnecessary, it needs to be on, if external or third party safety is of any concern including your own. Even with it fitted, the Phantom can still rotor buzz a target, as they usually tip up a bit on impact, or if moving upwards or across at any time. Apparently it can even undo a bikini we discovered. Clearly the best protection is prevention, and increasing your margins for error is the only surefire way to fly safe at all times. The only other disadvantage we noted to having the guards fitted is possibly a little more vibration if the wind conditions are high, which isn't great if you're filming, but it's only pretty minimal and handling's very similar, and I guess you're probably not going to be filming too much in the wind anyway. So next time you're using your drone around the pool for safety inspections, or chasing people on a skateboard, bike or rope swing, make sure you protect the people you're trying to protect by keeping a safe distance and using the guards properly. All in all, we give the rotor guards a big thumbs up, providing you keep them well away from people, pets, or anything that could be harmed. The rotor guards are more about protecting the aircraft than they are about protecting the things around them. Oh, and Katie likes them too. Rough first day though. Please subscribe for the latest segments and check out our website for more tips and tricks. And as per usual, anything we offer is just our opinion and any updates may change the information. And just as a by the way, yes, Katie is single. Happy flying, guys.